Welcome to State Attack. Here's an iPhone and iPad app for you. It's called Euclidia. Go ahead and open it and it's going to bring us to the main menu where we have three basic options. We can go ahead and view Game Center which is going to show us our standings and rankings compared to our friends and other players of Euclidia. Tap on the settings and it's going to show us about the app. We can view references which references are really good to check out before you start playing the game so you can see how it's scored. So each solution is scored in lines and elementary Euclidean constructions E. So if the challenge is solved, I get one star. If I use the minimum number of L moves or line moves, I get a star. And if I use the minimum number of Euclidean moves, I get another star. So there's three stars I can get total. And then I have some tools down at the bottom, such as the move tool, point, line tool, circle, perpendicular bisector, perpendicular, angle bisector, parallel, compass, and intersecting tool. And I can see what each one of these is scored. So the move tool uses zero L's and zero E's. And I can also notice that one line tool uses one L and one E move. So each one of these tools is gonna to be ranked based upon how many L's and E's that it takes up or lines and Euclideans. So go ahead and close out the references and we can come back into our settings. And we can also go ahead and connect with the developers via their website and Facebook and Twitter. We can reset our progress. So that way we can reset the app to its original status. If we want to go ahead and play the levels over again, we can give feedback and then rate the app in the app store. Go ahead and come into the play menu here. Here you can see all the level paths. What's really cool is if I tap on alpha, and I can see all the levels here and I can swipe down. You see this one has seven. Most, most level packs have about 10, some of them have 12, but 10 is the general round number that I've found for levels to include. Now in the bottom right hand corner, you notice the beta icon. If I tap on that, it takes me into the beta set, and so on and so forth as I tap in the bottom right hand corner. Tapping in the bottom left hand corner brings me back a level pack. So let's go ahead and come back into alpha and let's do a few of these equations. I'm gonna go and do the circle and the square. I'll tap number four. And what I can do now is it brings me into the playing field. Tap in the top left hand corner. It shows me what I'm trying to solve for. And you see I've already gotten the check mark for the solving the puzzle and using as many as minimum line tools. But I need to do five Euclidean lines so I can see that score here in the bottom left hand corner. That's my goal. And as always, tap the question mark and it's going to show me all my references. Tap in the top right hand corner, we have our menu, which the top icon brings you back out to the main menu. These left and right arrows bring me into different equations. The reset button will reset the level pack, and then the question mark, the little glass but light bulb, will allow me to get some hints. And I've already gotten hints for this one. So let's go ahead and solve it very quickly. I'll tap here, we'll use one of our tools. And now we've solved that one. So now let's move on to the next one. Here's a perpendicular line tool. I'm gonna to go ahead and come to the top right hand corner and let's use a hint. So I have useful facts and each time I solve a level I get some coins. So I'm gonna use a useful fact. We'll tap on it to view. So there's some diagonals of a rhombus. We'll tap on moves. And let's see what tools we need to use. So here's a few of our tools. And there are no more hints for this one. So the tools are, we need to use the line tools and the intersecting line point. So let's go ahead and see what we can get going on here. If any time you happen to make a mistake, you can always hit the back button or forward button up here on the top of the screen. You'll notice they appear as I start adding points. Now what's really neat is I have this hand tool. This is going to help me check to make sure what I've been doing is actually perpendicular and it's congruent. So I'm going to use this little hand tool and these blue points here and I can zoom in and zoom out on the point and notice also that I'm rotating it. So I'm seeing everything as it zooms in and as it zooms out as well. So this is really neat to go ahead and check what you're doing has been right. I also have a free draw mode down here in the bottom so I can see that I've already solved it. And I can just come out here and now I can just kind of plot points and do whatever I wanted to. But the orange little triangle there is letting me know that I've already solved this once before. And you can see I got one star just by doing so. So let's go ahead and come into a different equation now. We can tap on these arrows here and come into different packs. And we can tap in the top right hand corner. We can come back out to our main menu. And we can also go ahead and swipe through the different level packs here to find a different equation to go ahead and solve. So once again, this application is called Euclidia. If you like it, be sure and pick it up in the App Store today.